I learned this song last night. Um, I've been playing it pretty much nonstop so I can teach it. Um, it's it's called uh, One in Dead or Alive. Um, titles up there by Bon Jovi. Um, so pretty much what I'm gonna walk you through is the intro, which I played at the beginning of the of the video and did mess up on a little bit because I was using a pick and if you've tried to use a, a pick on this song you will understand it is extremely hard well it may be just extremely hard for me because I normally in my band I don't play guitar um, and I'm I play bluegrass I don't play this I don't play rock and roll but I kind of like this song, so I'm going to show you it. Okay, to start off teaching the song, I'm not going to use anything at all, just my fingers. Um, the three main strings that you will use for the intro are, are the D, D string right here, um, the G string here, and the high E string here. And if you go by tab numbers, it would be 4, 3, and one to finger pick it here's the here's the picking pattern it's it's it goes D G high E G and then you repeat D G high E G D G high E G as soon as you get the picking pattern down you're gonna come over here and you're gonna the the two fingers you're going to use are your index finger and your middle finger. And your middle finger, to start out, will be on the G string, um, on the, uh, you fret the G string on the 14th fret, and your index finger on the high E string of the 13th fret. And so, start out, it'll sound like this. It'll just... Play that for a little bit. Here, just so you can hear more, I'm going to use a pick. And you're going to hit the D string open throughout the whole thing. And then once you do that once, you're going to slide down here to the 12th. And both fingers on the same strings will be on the 12th fret. So it'll sound like this. And then from there, you're going to slide two frets down to the 10th, both fingers, same strings, on the 10th. And then from there, you're going to go, you're going to move back to how you started out in the same position sort of only your middle finger will be on the ninth fret and your index finger on the eighth fret and you're going to pick that once it sounds like that and then after you do that you're going to slide down to the fifth both fingers on the same strings again let me move my camera down will be on the fifth, like this. And then, after you do, pick that once, you'll slide down where your middle finger is on the fourth, and your index finger is on the third. And then, pick that. And then, what I do when I'm picking with a pick, I just strum that and then slide down and then slide down to here where your index finger is on the first and your middle finger is on the second like this, like so that's an easy way to do it and then just to finish things off I, I found it, it sounds kinda cool if you add this so like Okay, so let's, I'm going to play that again 
I'm going to play it very slowly here. Here we go. You can play along if you want. One, two, three, four. And then just do that twice, and then you so you come back up and do it all over again. Whoops, not like that, like this. Okay, after you get done doing that, that little riff walk down two times. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come up on the A string right here and you're gonna fret you're gonna fret the A string on the third fret and then you hit the A string twice like this and then you do and then you go down to the D string so it'll sound like this When you get done doing the, <laughs> no, no, that's not how it goes. Here's how it goes. You're gonna, you're gonna get in a D position. Only lift up your middle finger. So it's like a two, two finger chord. But you're gonna, you're gonna just pick. Um, see, I use my middle finger to hit the the A and the D strings after I get in the D position because it's easier. But here's what I'm picking when I'm when I'm in the D. After the I'm sure you can't see that. Let me do that again. So it'll go. No. Is the high E string, the G string, the B string, the G string again, the D string, and then go back to only hit. You can hammer on. Well, let me let me try that. I don't know if that'll work. I think that's on time. Um, if it's not, um, leave a comment and tell me um, how how it goes. Um, so here's what it'll look like. I hope this helped. Um, if it didn't, huh, sorry, but I did my best. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.